What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and I am in the kitchen with my son, my son Terrell. I'm gonna show y'all how to make, well, fried wing dings, right? We are doing fried wing dings, but Terrell's making buffalo wing sauce homemade. So y'all stay tuned for this. My son Terrell, hey, hey Terrell. What's up y'all? So my son gonna show us how he put it down in the kitchen with these fried chicken wings. He does the the buffalo sauce, which uh kind of was new to me because I never knew he could make it. What you putting on, son? Seasoning salt. The seasonings. Black pepper. Black pepper. Oh. When you say buffalo, might well have it hot. You didn't get no new butter. Yeah, I did. That's the new butter right there. Oh, yeah, you got, you got, I can't believe it's not butter. Oh, you look good looking. This is the, what is that now? What is that called? Cajun. That's Cajun, y'all. It makes the chicken hot. Makes the chicken hot? Yeah. Even though it's already gonna be hot, but. It's already like, gonna be hot. I like spicy, spicy stuff. Hey, y'all. Uh, so I'm gonna keep your camera on me for a minute because I'm talking, but. Y'all hear that little thing going beep? Low battery, yeah. Tina lodged the battery up in there. We can't get it out to um snap it back on because we thought if we took the battery out of it, it would be quiet, but it's not. It just keeps saying low battery until we reconnect the battery. Cause this house is like so sensitive. Like you don't even have to be burning nothing, but if the stove on, it's like, it'll start going off saying fire, fire, fire. And imagine that happening to me like at two something in the morning. I jumped up out the bed and Terrell was down here frying chicken one summer night. Man. So he used the paprika and what is that? Beer can chicken seasoning. Beer can chicken seasoning. Yeah, she she nerve wracking. And I don't, I don't flip I don't flip the chicken and season it. Cause all that seasoning is too much, so I throw it all in a bowl like this. Yeah. Enough. Mm hmm. Okay. Chef T. Chef Boy RT. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my son, y'all. That's Chef Boy RT right there. <laughs> okay, but I'm just so interested. We we see him, you know, seasoning the chicken. I'm just waiting on him to make up this buffalo sauce. I'm so interested on how he gonna do this. So it goes on inside the fryer, or. Mm -hmm. You put the sauce on after the fact. After the fact. Oh. I have my sauce in a bowl after the chicken wings is fried out. I, I thought fries in there. No. Uh. -uh. And what's your ingredients for your buffalo sauce? Um, barbecue sauce. Sweet baby rays. And butter and uh, hot sauce. We sticking to the. I can't believe it's not butter. And hot sauce. And this is his buffalo. Buffalo wing sauce. I'm gonna get my hair done Saturday, y'all. Uh. I'm gonna get my hair done. Uh, um, have them do it plum. And have them, uh, you know, do a, uh, uh, I don't know if I wanna do a silk press, but I don't know how the Dominicans do the hair, but however, I'm gonna get it done. And I want the plum color in it. Tina want hers done too, as y'all know her birthday is coming up. Don't nobody go in that bathroom for about another 40, 35, 40 minutes. <laughs> I got a surprise coming up for y'all. But I guess if I tell y'all, it wouldn't be a surprise, huh? I'll tell you a little bit of it. It's involving a song, a gospel song. And I'm not gonna say with who. <laughs> It'll just be Mama Love featuring. We'll do it like that. And I'll leave that alone. But we're working on it. Lord gave me a song three years ago. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna sing that song I was given. And I'm gonna get me some, go find me a studio. And I'm gonna get me some studio time. And I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna sing that song unto the Lord. And pray that the Lord bless that song. That it reach many. 
featuring. Anyway, <laughs> I am going over here where my son is at. Oh, look at my son. You shake your powder off when you uh, before you put him in there? Okay. Okay. You ain't burning your hand as you trail. Like you touching us. We're close together, right? Watch my son do this, knock this 12 piece out. Go, on, son! Chicken looks so good, y'all. Too bad I can't have none. You know what I'm saying? I gotta sit and stare at it. I gotta smell it. <laughs> Man. That's, that sounds so pretty when it fried on it. <laughs> Bring them on close together. I'm gonna set that here. And while that's frying, he's gonna make up his buffalo sauce. So, uh, is you measuring that? What are you putting in there? I'll put it up to about half a cup. Half a cup? Mm -hmm. You know I had them measuring cups, right? Yeah, I know. I just yeah, always, we still I used to doing it. Right. I always use this cup. Okay. Throw it in here for a minute. Okay, that's the barbecue, right? Sweet <laughs> baby rays. All right. Now for the hot part. Ooh, the hot sauce. Okay. It you filling that up? No, I'm not the whole thing. Just to one third. Okay, one third of hot sauce. You do it two times. Oh, two times. So it ain't one third. Yeah. One third and one third is what? <laughs> <laughs> two thirds. My daddy, my daddy used to do that to me, man. I'm like, why you, daddy? Why are you trying to make me break I'm down the math? Yeah, I'm gonna add one more. Oh, wow, that's gonna be real hot. I'm glad I ain't eating that. Help yourself. I'm gonna burn the dog on a hole in your stomach. It's gonna be eating your food. It's gonna be falling on the floor to the other side. <laughs> but you don't want it just because some people mess it up sometimes. They put way more hot, uh, barbecue sauce than hot sauce and they're not supposed to. He's pouring the butter in. And there's the buffalo sauce. Oh wow. It looks exactly like it, don't it? Yeah, it does. Smell it. Ain't gonna burn my nostril, is it? Oh wow, that is. Ooh. My son is doing that. I, uh. Okay, it's not ready yet, but I like to lift up the chicken and check it because I'm the type of person. When I fry wing dings, y'all, I always the type of uh, salt and pepper person because I found that garlic and Cajun seasonings and paprikas, other types of seasoning, always burn your chicken. So I used to always just like to use salt and pepper and then whatever I wanted to use afterwards or I would just put it in the flour, but it usually uh, burns it. So that's why I'm lifting up chicken on it like that. I like to have some golden brown chicken. Don't nobody want no burnt chicken, y'all, okay? No burnt looking chicken. So, anyway, why they over there? Be watching her play that game. Tina's going to be 17 years old. She said, she said she was moving out, all right? Yeah, she used to always get mad, be like, I can't wait to leave here, I can't wait, I can't wait. Now that time get close. They're a year and two months apart. A lot of people used to always think that they were twins, but one is 6'3", and one is 5'11". What you plan on leaving behind in 2018? Negativity. Negativity. What, you, what about you, Tina? Uh, drama. She said that's drama, all right. <laughs> she said drama. Ooh, hallelujah. So Ain't nothing funny, baby. Oh, Lord, she said drama, y'all. Oh, my God. So my son is flipping them over. Yeah. That's new. That is new oil. So you ain't gonna so much get the golden brown look, but that's okay. That's usually what happens when you find brand new oil. 
which I love. Oh, that's still, that looks good. It's coming along. Y'all, that chicken smelling so good, and I can't even lay my mouth on it. I can't. All I can do is smell it and go like this. Pick it up and see, I smell it. But it's all gonna be worth it in the end, y'all. It's all gonna be worth it in the end when my birthday come around. Push this back. Cause I noticed that when my videos are edited and uploaded, that camera be all in my face and I don't even mean to do that, but yes, y'all. So anyway, what finally had inspired me to do a, a little single was uh, the Lord had dropped that in my heart. And then I was all, also encouraged by other singers that, you know, some on YouTube came out with a song and stuff like that. And it was this inspiration like, oh, okay. I can do that. I can, that I can sing my song the Lord gave me three years ago. Give me some hell with it and give me some, some more confidence builds up, you know, because you want to make sure your words, like I said, everything come together for your chorus. And it's just, it's, you know, it's a beautiful thing. I love to worship the Lord. I love to sing praises unto God. I can give you a whole concert by myself, but it's like when I'm in front of people, it's like, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm shy, y'all. I'm so shy. But, um, that's, that's, that's working out. It's working out on me. God working that part out of me too. I heard it's not, it's not good to be shy. Somebody said it's called a spirit, the spirit of shyness ain't good. You think it's all right to be shy. No, it's not. It, it hinders you from what God has you for you to do. Shyness can hold you back. Shyness can, uh, stop a person from getting uh, a message from the Lord. The Lord may give you a word to get to somebody. Uh, and you may be too shy to go over there and say something to them. That person's not going to get that word that they need. Um, uh, uh, shyness is like when somebody call you up for a solo and you don't want to sing that solo. You don't know who may get, get set free in that service from that solo that you're singing because of the anointing in your voice. Shyness is not a good thing. It's not innocent. The devil makes it seem like that, but it's not. Shyness is actually trickery. Um, it's a form of, uh, I want to say, rebellion. Rebellion. It makes you uh, draw back. Anything that's gonna make you like draw back for what God wants you to do is, is like, it's not good at all. So, yeah. So this is his golden brown chicken. Let me get over here to the light. And his golden brown chicken. That looks so delicious. Y'all, I'm sitting here staring at it. Lord God, help me, give me strength right now, God. Should've left me alone. You know why? Cause I think, I'm gonna think I'm all of that. Wait, wait till I get this weight off. Oh my goodness, ain't gonna be telling me nothing, okay? I'm gonna try not to be vain, y'all. I'm gonna try not to be. Hey. Can't wait. I'm gonna reward myself, but it's not gonna be with food. That's the worst thing you can do when you lose some weight. Reward yourself with food. And then get them taste buds going back. And then you say, yeah, I'm going to start back tomorrow, but you can't. But you keep on gaining it back and say you'll be all right. And then the week done passed. But you know what? A month then came. There you is again. Let me go follow my son. Mm. Just think of that. Now, I used to do my uh, barbecue sauce like that over the stove. As soon as I take my chicken wing things out the frying pan, I used to drip that grease off of it, pop it up over in that sweet barbecue baby rays. And oh my God, hot pot of barbecue sauce. And bring them out. Woo! I was talking to uh, Queen the other day. She said she had made those the other day. Right. She said she made the uh, barbecue sauce, barbecue wing things like I taught her to make them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Look at that. That's that's his buffalo. What is it called? Buffalo wild wings. Buffalo wings. Buffalo they better wings. be good. All right, y'all. So, I don't get any, but maybe we can have some yeah. buffalo peanuts. <laughs> y'all bowl. How we mm -hmm. taste it? Tita looks pretty nice. Good, Tita? Oh, my God. Lord, give me strength. It's good. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's good. It's actually like real buffalo chicken. Mmm. You know what? I'm going to drop her up. You know what? <laughs>
So that's my son's video of his buffalo, I call them buffalo wild wings, but maybe next time I can have buffalo peanuts since they're eating it in front of me. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I want y'all to be blessed in the name of Jesus. Peace out, in Jesus' name.